what's going on YouTube? Kyle here over at ClassofBritishFairs.com and today I have my 1968 Triumph TR6R on the workbench. Today I will be showing you a new product that we just received. This is called an oil pressure gauge kit. So basically what this kit is, it has all the fittings and lines and clamps that you need to install an oil pressure gauge onto your vintage British motorcycle. So whether you have a Triumph Bonneville TR6 Lightning Commando, the kit that we'll be offering on our website today will have everything that you need to put it on your vintage British motorcycle. So without further ado, let's go over some of the work that I did on my bike and you can take a look and see this gauge in action. All right, so the first thing that you definitely want to do is figure out where your oil pressure sending unit is. On this 68, it never came from the factory with an oil pressure sending unit, but it did have the boss here. As you can see, there's a spigot that's casted into the timing cover. In 69, that's where it would have been. So I removed my, uh, my boss and I took a thread pitch gauge, it's a 26 by 3 8 and you have to figure out whether it's tapered or straight thread. And then once you figure that out, then you take the fitting that's in the kit and you simply thread it into that timing cover there. Once you figured out if your application takes a 3 8 by 26 straight thread or the, you know, the later thread pitch with the taper thread, you'll want to get the oil line and run it up to your handlebar. As you can see, I ran my line up with the front of the tube on my 68 and I just used some zip ties. Uh, everybody's going to have a different method of doing this. Some will use zip ties, some will, I'm not going to get into that. But the basis of it is you want to rub to the handlebars, keep it as clean and keep it as straight as possible. You do not want to have any tight turns or bends as that could cause damage to the actual oil pressure gauge. As you can see on my 60, I decided to put the oil pressure gauge on the right hand side of the motorcycle. On the left hand side, if you're curious to know what that funny looking device is, that's actually my cell phone mount. So you can, it's a 7 8 uh, design, so you can mount it anywhere you want on the handlebar, the left, the right side, or in the middle, or if you want to make a custom bracket, that's totally up to you. But for myself, I went ahead and mounted it to the right side. So now that you guys have actually seen it on the bike, let's go ahead and start it and check the oil pressure on the 68 and see how really good it is. Alright guys, I hope that answered some of your questions or perhaps kind of added to your curiosity. If you have any more questions, you can always give us a call or send us an email at sales at classicbritishspares.com. Like I said, you can buy this whole kit. There's a little bit more parts to it than this, what's actually shown in this video. But if you look at the description on the bottom of this video, there will be a link and it'll take you directly to the product. Uh, we also have more photos, more detailed instructions, and an instruction slip will be included. So if you have any questions, definitely you want to check out the listing for more information. Like I said before, you can always give us a call and we'll help you out. Um, this setup here probably took me no more than 15 minutes to install. Like I said, it's a very simple process. Uh, the fittings are included, the lines are included. All you need is one, you need a motorcycle and you want to figure out at least where you want to mount the oil pressure gauge. Like I said, it's pretty universal, but it's, you know, it's, it's made specifically for British motorcycles. So it's not like something that we went down to AutoZone and had made. I mean, this is a very beautiful quality. It's got a stainless steel 7 8 clamp on it. I mean, it's, it's a really nice comprehensive kit. So we pretty much designed it um, so you don't have to go to the store and buy these little different things. So it's all in one, whether you have a Triumph, BSA, or Norton. So anyways, uh, I appreciate you guys watching this video. I hope you guys have a great day. Again, if you have any questions, please let us know. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks again.